Hey Sweet Heat fam, today I'm making salmon and shrimp with a cream wine sauce and mashed potatoes and spinach. Stay tuned. Y'all know I have to start with cleaning everything. Gotta let it sit for a minute and I also scrub the potatoes with the vegetable brush off camera to get the excess dirt off. Next, you'll see me peeling the shell of the shrimp, and I'm also going to devein the shrimp and just let the rest sit in water and lemon juice. So starting off with my top two seasonings, garlic and onion powder. And then I'm going to take some blackened seasoning by Cajun's Choice. This is going to help the shrimp and the salmon get its nice brown color. And then I'm just going to crush some pepper in there. You can use regular pepper if you want. And then I'm just going to mix it all together and make sure that the seasoning is in the shrimp. On medium low heat, you want to pour oil in a hot pan and then start placing the shrimp down and make sure you're not overcrowding the pan. So I'm just going to brown the shrimp on both sides. You don't have to cook it all the way because it will be put in a sauce later. For the potatoes, I cut them in half so that it can cook faster, but boil your water first, pour some salt in it for taste, and then put in your potatoes. And then after about 20 minutes or so, your potatoes should be tender and you should be able to stick a fork right through it. And then it should be easy for you to just mash up the potatoes. Pouring your half and half. I used about one quart of half and half because I was making a lot of potatoes. I put one stick of butter, about a tablespoon of minced garlic. To season it, I just put in onion powder, garlic powder. I crushed up some black pepper. I put in parsley flakes for color. And make sure you put in a bouillon cube in there for flavor. I don't know why I didn't show that in the video. So when everything is heated all together, after a couple minutes, you want to slowly pour your milk mixture into the potatoes. You don't want to pour it all at once. And as I'm doing this, I'm tasting it as I go and you will see me adding more seasoning in the end, but that's optional. For the spinach, make sure you put a lot of it in the pot because once it cooked down, there's barely anything left. And then just add some water or chicken broth for a little bit of flavor. And then you're gonna season it with your onion powder, your garlic powder, a little bit of salt, not a lot. And then you're just gonna put some minced garlic in there. I didn't cut off the skin for the salmon because you can easily take that off once it's done cooking. And yes, I'm seasoning it on both sides. I'm pretty much using the same seasonings that I did on the shrimp. So I'm just starting with some Old Bay. I'm gonna put in some garlic powder, onion powder, lacquant seasoning, and a little bit of paprika. And then I'm just gonna repeat this same process on the other side. And just 
make sure to press all the seasoning into your salmon. I don't want to cook the salmon too fast, so I put it on medium low heat with a little bit of oil in the pan. I like to start with the skin side first. And after about four to five minutes, I flip them over. I did put the lid on it for like two to three minutes just to ensure that it's cooking in the middle. So once you sear the top of your salmon, you just wanna put in some butter, throw in some thyme in there, and then you just wanna baste the top with the melted butter. Y'all, I really was just sitting there thinking that the stove was on. That's why it took forever for that butter to melt. And then you wanna start off with some minced garlic and butter for your wine sauce. After you melt that down, you wanna pour in your wine of your choice. You can use any white wine. And then I slowly poured in some heavy whipping cream. And then I added a chicken bouillon cube just for some flavor. And just throwing your shrimp and I just added a little bit of parsley. And then you're just gonna put this on low for a few minutes. beautiful this look y'all like it's making me hungry now like I really want to just cook this again it was so good and I really want you all to try the recipe tag me in it on Instagram and just tell me what you think about the recipe thank you always and make sure you like comment and subscribe